Oh, okay. What the? I'll check. I'll check the settings for you. Morning, guys. Welcome to Kaatleho Malela's vlog. Um, it is I, Lady Malela, otherwise known as Nalady I'm fresh. <laughs> So, uh, because my sister is driving, because I didn't feel like driving my own car, I'll be vlogging on her behalf. First things first, we're going to breakfast. I just want to give you guys an update. I'm not too impressed with the Sony. Like, I know that I said Don't it in my other You said it in your vlog. I'm very impressed with the Sony. I am very impressed. Okay. Congrats. Happy birthday, kiss, sissy. Okay. <laughs> Um, she loves the Sony ZV-E10. I don't know how I feel about it as of yet because I still am struggling. I'm battling. I'm such a Canon kind of girl that I'm really struggling with the settings. I haven't actually even played with it because I was just like, ain't no mother. Ain't am no. I, am I allowed to swear? Way. Yeah. yeah ain't no way. So uh, we are going to breakfast. I didn't want to drive because I'm paying for breakfast. So, as as umshayeli we breakfast, she has to be umshayeli we moto. It's very simple. In life, it's about giving and taking. But you can't take everything and give nothing. So, if you are taking, you must give back. And the giving of that, it's that she'll drive. You know that. Who knows? I might just want to go to Pretoria and she have to drive me there. <laughs> We're on our way to Paul to go have breakfast because I woke up super famished uh, and slightly hungover because I was drinking gin and sparkling water. And we both happened to be home today because of this supposed national shutdown that Wait. I'm not seeing much. What's going on? About. <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only reason why I'm not at work. What is? Because at work they were like, everybody stay home! Just in case this national shutdown gets out of hand. Everybody stay home. There's a national shutdown. It's not happening. You know how, how South Africans are all talk, no action. Yeah, we're going to strike. Yeah, we're going to this. Yeah, we're not happy. And then, too, just trending on Twitter for two days. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse. You know what you check for on Twitter? So, um, yeah, I had, I had no idea. But anyway, we are ahead. <gasps> I bumped your camera against the window. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we are going to Paul to get rid oh my god, I feel like being one of these girls that do this, but the only problem is that like they know nigga that you guys can say okay. When I lady say boring. 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 Don't, uh, don't mess up my car. Ah, never. Yes, you break and change the taxi. Allah, you. Yes, you should have a family. Yes, sir. We are here. Um, we are at the center for polls. We're gonna have a good time. Okay, we're gonna just drink. No, I'm lying. <laughs> let's go and let's have a good time. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day. But the night, we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same. Do you belong behind? I clearly have to control Katla's vlog because she is driving. We have just finished having a breakfast at Paul. Turns out we are not allowed to film there, so hence why yeah. you guys didn't see much content um, of that. Yeah. I guess it's a patrons thing, um, looking out for the patrons. But we have decided to extend this day by going to Mac. Katla owes me a lip gloss. She said she she said she's gonna buy for one for me. Apparently. Apparently. I don't know if it's going to happen. We're not sure guys. The the lip closer make it cost a five million. You do it. They do, Ma, they're they so do, worth it. But they're good. Yo, they're the I best. actually don't like the lip gloss from Huda Beauty. It just doesn't have that very uh hydrating feeling. It actually feels oily on my lips as opposed to it feeling Look, for me, in terms of fancy lip glosses, nothing tops the MAC ones. 
and then Same. your everyday lip gloss I really like the one that I gave you yeah essence that Do one you know? actually uh, made really my lips peel I think that I really? had an allergic reaction to it no way I did I did oh, sorry that even on set they had to keep putting gloss on my lips because oh, no. yeah my lips were peeling every single day I think I used it too oh, much no. No, no my mm. lips love it you so I don't raise hell should the talk through it in detail a separate ways ain't gon' end well no but when we get back it's like oh my all bad all day but the night I get that good good till we act right so tell me where we on the day babe I could keep that same energy when you go low I go low too but you'd rather stay high I know you can we stay high Day three, no meat, mm -hmm. no carbs, mm -hmm. supposed to be no alcohol, no mm -hmm. dairy. Okay, so my most difficult aspects are no dairy because I ordered cheese croquettes mm -hmm. and no alcohol, but I'm I'm dashing the gin with sparkling, sparkling water. water. Good job, excellent. But yeah, guys, it's I'm good. I'm feeling We're trying. Let's I'm, 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 I'm trying. Yeah, that's good. I'm oh, happy. All right. Good morning, or often no morning, morning. It's about a day or two later. I don't know, somewhere there. Uh, today is wash day. As you can see, there's a lot of white in my hair. That's just leave-in conditioner that I left in my hair. It'll dry eventually at some point. And yeah, I was just doing my hair. You know, my hair is just starting to become quite unmanageable by my standards I just don't like hair that's a lot of maintenance and we all know that um, do you mind okay we all know that natural hair requires a lot of maintenance and for me oh. so I'm actually thinking of cutting this shorter because it's growing and you know it's it's doing a lot for me hey cutting it shorter re dyeing it or something like this i'll put a picture here uh or going all the way short and like being stormy like having it like almost white like i did here see so i'm um, i'm actually in the process of thinking about that um anywho right now in the next say about 20 minutes in the next about 20 minutes or so i'm gonna have to leave and go um, do my nails. I need a touch up. I need a fill. Um, yeah, just a little bit of me time. Yo, guys, um, I work a lot beyond what you see, but I'm pretty sure you're aware that I release three videos a week and, um, I mean, I'm working at the same time, and on top of that, I'm at school as well. Oh, actually, <laughs> school came back. My first two assignments came back, and I got 83 and 84. Ay um, so trust, I'm going to be a great life coach, guys. Just, just see it. Like, like envision me. I actually have a name already in my head for my life coaching business. So just envision me talking to you about designing your life and in designing it in such a way that works for you. Imagine. God, anyway, fun. so the results came back yesterday. I was so, so excited. Um, there's quite a few events, not quite a few. I think there's two events that I need to There's two or three events that I need to attend next week. Um, one is a paid for thing. Another one, 
I'm just attending it because it's it's my kind of vibe. Like it's something that I'm really keen on. And this third one, I'm not sure if it's next week or the week after, but we'll check. And um I'm, 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 I'm just, yeah, and this morning I got another invite to another event that I'm really, really excited about, but I can't talk about it as yet, because I haven't even RSVP'd or anything, I just opened the email and I was like, ah, this is exciting, so, um, anywho, yeah, you know, there's just a lot that's been happening, there's the book club that's happening, there's work, there's school, there's this, so today I had told myself that I was going to record with my sister. I put up snaps on Instagram and all of that. Like, oh, we're going to record, we're going to record. Honestly, I'm, I'm, no, no. Personally, she can catch me outside because no, I refuse to do any recording today. I just want to relax. I want to take today to just do nothing and relax. And I just want it to be a me day. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be a me day. Um, you guys know very well that when I leave the house, I don't take the camera. And especially this one because it's new. I'm, I'm kind of uneasy about it as yet. But I use my phone quite a lot to record. So I'll probably record. Um, finally, reading. I'm reading two books at the moment. One is an audio book and one I'm reading with my eyes. The one that I'm reading with my eyes finally got into it <laughs> if you watch my last uh, uh uh vlog you know i explained that i re in i got a um a thing from uh penguin random house and uh, a book and it's the sequel to this one it, the merciless ones it's over there but i have to read this one before i read that one so something in me was like Atleo, try again try again so i did i'm trying again and honestly i'm about 282 pages in there's about i'm gonna read there's about 400 411 pages so it's not that bad i'm gonna i'm probably gonna finish it very very soon um and then get straight on to the merciless ones while this one is still fresh in my mind so the reason why i really wasn't relating with it the first 110 20 odd pages are just they're slow okay they're a really really serious drag for me um and it's fantasy so for me i'm expecting things to happen quickly because it's fantasy and this and this but i understand there's world building and character building and all of that and uh the development of the character and you reading all of that so i understand that but i didn't think it would take 120 30 odd pages to get hot you know because after that it was moving like this it was moving like this i was so impressed um so we're following decker here this is decker this is decker and decker um the book opens with a ceremony that's about to happen in her village where they call it the 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 ceremony of of, of purity or something the purity and ritual the ritual of purity and um in this uh, ceremony in this ritual what they do is the elders of the community cut into the girls the younger girls to see if their blood is red it means they are human girls and if their blood turns gold then they are seen as sort of like pariahs and 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 um monsters demons and all of that so Decca attends this ritual and as she attends this ritual she's terrified she's scared she's hoping that her blood is gonna turn go uh, red instead it turns gold and so because of that she gets imprisoned in her community she gets imprisoned and she is battered beaten and killed but then the thing about it is she's an alakai okay so she comes back okay it's fantasy right she gets killed multiple times i think nine times or something also being killed by her father as well but she comes back and uh then she meets this woman uh by the name of white hands who comes to rescue her and take her to another sort of the 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 southern parts of uh, the area or Teruin where they live and um, she gets trained to be an Alakai. That's all I'm going to say. But basically the, the, the story centers around, um, you know, the Alakai are these 
they call them abnormal, but I, I feel like they call them demons. They even call themselves demons, but that's weird, right? But I feel like they are, wow, they're special human beings. I mean, special beings, not human beings, right? So, um, so we follow her story and just... You know, it's girls being born into a society that is not for girls. Um, you know, it's very aged backwards in terms of girls. I mean, they can't run. Girls are not allowed to run in the communities. Girls are not allowed to, you know, go to school or all of that. Girls are just meant to serve men. And uh, atrocious things have happened to some of these young women who have also been rescued by different people. Uh, and end up in the training grounds where in Oteru, where Deka is. Atrocious things have happened to them because their blood ran, ran gold. And um, you just learn their stories. You learn, you know, they go through training with white hands and all of that so that they can train to defeat what they call the death, death shrieks. Death shrieks, I can't say it. Uh, I can read it, but I can't say it. death shrieks, right? And these are monsters that, um, you know, they come into the towns and the villages and they kill people and all of that. So they are trained to, you know, fight the death shriek and all of that. So it's it's so, it's now picking up. It's really, really intriguing now. Um, it's hot. I could read it right now. I could read it right now if I had the time I would but I don't um, but it's really really good and I'm gonna be taking it with me because after my nails I'm probably gonna find some way to sit and read and hopefully finish it so there's there's a little bit of it left <clears throat> take a lot okay there's a little bit of it left just that bit you know read read most of the chunks and I've um, booked what annotated certain parts of the book um where they talk about girls and women and it's 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 written really well it is a young adult um charity was the one who recommended that i read this but i i was so disconnected with it at the beginning that i remember telling charity that girl catch me outside bye okay um i'm not gonna do this and i had recommended the silent patient to her and she loved it <laughs> because because um, Charity reads mostly fantasy novels a lot of the time. I read the other stuff. So it's great. We have a great balance between the two of us because she's trying to get into thrillers and thrillers is my, just my hit. Um, so she recommended that I read this and Children of Blood and Bone, which I also have. But immediately after this one, I'm going to jump straight into The Merciless Ones because it's really heating up right now. It's so, so good. Because I have a funny feeling about Deca. You know what? This cover. This cover. No. I have a funny feeling about Deka. Deka unale connection. She's connected somehow to these death shrieks. And I think it's by way of her mother. And I think her mother did something. You know, I've got thoughts about Deka. Because she has this extra power that the other Alakai don't have. She can speak and communicate to these death shrieks. So good. It's good. It's good. I'm really, it's taking off. Um, by the looks of things, it's looking like it's going to be a four. I don't see it as a five, but it's looking like it's going to be a good four. And uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Charity. Charity saw something with this one. She did. I get it now. Um, so I'm going to go, going to leave the camera here. I'm thinking I'm going to add my mukbang to this vlog uh, because I don't want to do a separate mukbang. The vlog is just going to be extra long, which is fine because I'll be sitting, eating, answering your questions. I'll set it up in my lounge, get my lights down here, sit on the floor, put the food on my coffee table. I'll set it up pretty all right. And um, yeah, so I'm going to do that, but much later on tonight for dinner. And then uh, just pretty much take it easy for the rest of the day. You wanna go insane either way, baby, we could go on Cook collected, but you pushing on my nerves and knowing your attention, I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the town and the presence I get careless. Long as you know, I come with it perfection. This place, I want to live hard to what it is. I want to do like I'm coming to the site. All right, I'm coming to the site. All right, I'm coming to the site.
Marisol. Ah, ah, I'm vlogging. No, you looking bomb the way you dress and gone flex and hold it still and let my mind digest. You got the leverage. You got the upper handle on the situation. You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weathered. We fight retreating there, fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle. When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it. I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure. Huh? Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure. You a gem, got me blemless, make a man. I went to McDonald's, Steers. I went somewhere else. It is so full and I forgot that it's month and weekend. So it's it's ridiculous. So I knew that the Burger King here by me doesn't really get that full. And I'm really I don't mind Burger King. I have Burger King all the time. Oh yeah, by the way, I did my nails. They're so cute. Thanks, buns. Um so I'm getting that and then I'm gonna get myself a drink and then I'm gonna head home. And then we're gonna do the mukbang, baby. My hair, guys. Ah, my hair is doing the things. Hey, these curls here. Shame, man. Shame. Hi. Shabuja. Correct. Pay for it. Let's do this. Ah. Why such a wrong hole? Why such a high man, my sister? My sister cook a lady jo last week, my sister. My sister, who were food? My sister, you know, who is a king? I'm Johnny. I'm the money queen, and I'm a shelly. I'm a shelly. I'm a shelly. I'm a shelly. I'm a I was at um, so I was at Burger King last week. That's the reason why I'm laughing with him is because he recognizes me. I was at Burger King last week um, because I do eat takeout. You guys just don't know that I do, but I do. I'm gonna pop in. I don't have whiskey in the house. I've got wine, gin, um, Savannah. But I don't have whiskey and whiskey is just and then tomorrow we have the function we've got now ladies function oh, hang on while I park two seconds there we go all right let me go get this shit real quick and then I'll be back. did you think I would yeah you're like hey hey yeah 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 mukbang I'm here I'm here, I've got Burger King. Let me tell you something, okay? Before I start answering your questions. Uh, hey, it's the end of the month, guys. And I, I completely forgot that it's going to be packed everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? So, I was just like, yo, yo, yo where do I go? I went everywhere. I went to Chicken Lick in Line, Q, drive through. I went to Steers, drive through, whatever. And one of the other... Things that were mentioned was Burger King. When you know, you know. Okay. So, you asked me to do a mukbang. And you asked me to answer some questions. So, I'm going to pull up the questions now. So, here I've got a Bacon King burger. Which has... It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. It's got bacon. It's a double burger with bacon and cheese and the sauce and all of that. I've got loaded fries from Burger King. Should we try this? Mmm. Wow. Okay. Okay, those are good. Okay. I've got some more fries. And then I've got mozzarella sticks, which you guys know. Mozzarella sticks are the one. And then I've got cheese bites because... Wow. Ah, mm, mm, hot. What motivates... Huh? What motivates you to achieve your goals? Money. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. 
money is a big motivator for me because I feel like as much as money may not be the end all and be all of things, but money makes life easier. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It really, really does. And for me, money is a great motivator because I know that I want to live, you know, I want to live a good life. I want to live a life I can be proud of and a life that my family can be proud of and you know a life that i can enjoy as well and money is a huge huge big part of that but also the other things that motivate me to achieve my goals i would think for me personally it's just i love to engage with people and i love to make sure that mm, mm, mm. It's just a block of cheese. That's honestly what I am. Um, I love to motivate and engage with people, inspire people. And I try to find ways in which I can make money from that. Um, but it's a great motivator to know that, you know, I have helped someone. I have helped someone achieve something about their lives. Uh, or correct a certain part of their lives and it was because of me and for me that is a big deal so if I can do that that's a great reason to get up every day and also just to be a better version of myself than I was yesterday um, I know that I'm healing growing I'm becoming this better version of myself but it's gonna take time and it's not something that's gonna happen overnight and because of that, I'm willing to take the time and just, you know, work on it. And it's something to look forward to because when I think of myself 10 years down the line, I want to have achieved certain things. I want to have a family. I want to have all those things. And so, yeah, those are the things that motivate me every day, but also my family, you know, making my parents proud. Yeah. It's a big What's your go-to law when it comes to budgeting and saving? To be honest, from 2020, I've had to change that up a little bit because life got really tough when Corona came around, especially for me. Um, so I've had to let go of some of the goals that I put and set in place when it comes to saving and putting money away. Uh, but essentially, there would always be a certain amount of money that I would put away and I wouldn't touch it. And that money would go into investment accounts. That money would go into places where I can't reach without having to call my banker. It would go into places where I just can't touch that without having to call my banker. I can't do the transaction myself. And I feel like when you are saving, you have to make the cognizant decision that, you know what, I'm going to put this money away and... Hang on. I'm going to put this money away and I'm going to put it away in a place where even I my phone is ringing it's my dad hey, wow wait have you guys had the bacon and cheese mm -mm -mm -mm. dream holiday yo guys i feel like my sister always laughs at me and she's like oh but your dream destinations are so weird they're so wild and in truth they are kind of wild because it's not destinations that people would typically want to go to i mean i want to go to places like brazil and china so if i would say a dream destination I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. 
I feel like I like places like China and Tokyo, which I've already been. Um, places that are very rich in culture and diversity. And I still want to go to Brazil. I still want to have one hell of a trip in Brazil around the Mardi Gras period, you know, with the dancing and the lights and just, oh man, I would love that. And also to see the statue. Um, I know everybody else would be like, oh no, I want to go to New York. I want to go to Maldives or I want to go. For me, that's not really a thing. Like, okay, so it's another beach holiday. For me, it's not really, nah, I would rather honestly go to a place that is very rich in culture Thailand would be somewhere nice to go as well. Uh, I haven't been there, but uh, it's also not a train smash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you get people to understand your boundaries without being rude? You tell them. You tell them straight up. Your boundaries are your boundaries. And you should be in a place with the people around you to feel comfortable enough to share with them how you feel about something, right? So, okay, there's a plane flying above. So you should be able to tell them how you feel that, look, I don't appreciate it when you call me at such and such an hour. Or I don't appreciate it how you make me feel bad when it comes to my family and you. Or, I don't appreciate it, whatever. Everybody has boundaries. Everybody has a point where you can't go past this point with a certain person. Just don't go past that point. And you have every right to disclose that kind of information. And it's really good that you do because then it avoids potential, possible, future fights in the... Um, in the um, future or whatever. Uh, you're kind of just calling it as it is from the onset so that you don't have to worry about having to explain yourself going forward. So you just have to be honest, uh, straightforward, without being rude, without being um, sarcastic, without being just bring yourself maturely to the conversation and tell people what... And tell people what's cool and what's not cool. And that's that. Is it normal... To feel guilty for leaving your long-term relationship. Guilty? It depends on why you're leaving. Honestly. These are so good, I'm going to feel sick after this. <laughs> it depends on why you're feeling guilty. Um, why are you guilty that you're leaving? If somebody has cheated on you and you can't do it and the relationship has been strained for some time now, why would you feel guilty for leaving and choosing yourself? Because you need to remember at the end of the day when you leave a relationship by choice, it is your choice because you feel like it's just not working anymore. It is your choice because you feel like you've tried all you can. It just isn't working anymore and it is what it is. And... Um, it's time to move on and move forward. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, why would you feel guilty unless there's a particular reason as to why you're leaving the relationship and a reason that isn't in favor of you? Did you do something? Why do you feel guilty? Uh, if you're feeling guilty because maybe it's a marriage and you have children and whatever, I do feel that is normal. Um, and that that's something that could potentially happen in a relationship, but I, I wouldn't understand any other reason as to why you would feel guilty, why you would leave. Mm -mm. We have a son together and I feel sad uh, after leaving him, he had all the symptoms of a narcissist. You can have a son together, but I know when my parents divorced, I was happy when my parents were apart because when they were together, they were fighting a lot and it was just screaming and shouting and screaming and shouting and my sister and I would hear that you know almost every evening or every other evening or every couple of weeks and my parents were just not happy and children can pick up on that children can see when their parents are not happy so would you rather be unhappy and show that and feed all of that energy onto your son 
or rather just split up, find a way to co-parent with your child, um, with the with uh, the father of your child, find a way to co-parent uh, for your son with the father of your child and move forward and start a life for yourself and be happier. Um, the reality is you need to be happy too for your son to be happy. So no, no, you shouldn't feel guilty for leaving if it's because you have a son together, no. Your son would probably be a lot better off knowing that both parents are happier as opposed to living under one roof and biting each other's heads off. That's all I'm saying, sister. Um, how do you buy your grocery monthly or weekly? Typically, I buy my grocery monthly. Other stuff like cosmetics and... Uh, not meet meet up weekly. Um, cosmetics and total cleaner, uh, detergents, all that kind of stuff. I buy once a month, but then every week I will buy even meat. I think I buy once a month. Yes, I do. Um, but then every week I will buy fresh produce. So I'll buy fresh vegetables, my spinach, my fruits, strawberries, whatever, because I eat that stuff right throughout the week. So by the time the end of the week comes, it's finished. So I have to buy something else. So always produce I, I buy with weekly, uh, some weeks more than others. Um, but monthly, I'll buy the bulk stuff, the cleaning stuff, the meats and stuff like that and then weekly i'll buy fresh produce and uh vegetables and fruits and things like that um how do i get over someone i just broke up with my boyfriend a week ago sweetie that is not easy but i did a breakup video how do you move forward past heartbreak two part series i did it on my channel you can check it out there and i'm sorry that you have to go through that um you're probably going to go straight to the toilet and vomit after that mukbang because cat always eats clean i do always eat clean here's the thing y'all like you guys think that i eat clean all the time and i don't eat bad food i do i do like right now i'm going i'm, I'm going to bite into this burger right now <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> okay. Yes, I might not finish a lot of the food here, but do I enjoy junk food? Yes. Once a week even. Yeah. Um, and today's Friday. So during the week, I made sure that I eat clean and I eat what I typically would eat and cook at home and all of that. And then because I knew that this was coming, you know. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is good. Mm, good. Um. <sighs> I'm so full. I'm getting full. Okay. Okay. Um, do you consider yourself successful? No, no, I don't. Um, I feel like for me, success means being comfortable in your life that you wake up to do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. Mm, there's no, um, obligations. There's no, oh, I need to get up because I have a meeting at 9 o'clock. Or I need to get up because I have to attend this, this, this at this time. Or I need to get up because this, that, that and the other. Success for me means living comfortably while uh, money comes in. And you choose what you do with, excuse me. You choose what you do with your day-to-day -day affairs um that's success for me for so no i don't consider myself successful <coughs> <coughs> do i <coughs> do i consider myself comfortable sure for now but not where i would want to be you know have you ever been stigmatized for experiencing mental illness of course by even family members um 
<clears throat> it's always, oh, she's so sensitive. Oh, she's taking things out of proportion. Oh, she's overthinking it. Oh, I wasn't trying to insult you. Why are you being so sensitive? Oh, this, that, and the other. And you're sitting there thinking, okay. And I feel like people stigmatize mental illness because they just don't get it. They don't get um, what mental illness is and what it's about. So, yeah. Have I been? Absolutely. My family members... Um, um, not friends, but by family members, um, and by people who think that, oh, but you always so happy and go lucky. Um, you're so friendly. You seem like everything is perfect in your life. People don't think that you are struggling with some sort of mental, um, struggle, you know? And they think you, you're supposed to be okay because it seems like your life is in order. Because it seems like everything in your life is going perfectly well. Why would you have any problems? Why would you have any men mental illnesses? And because of that, you get stigmatized. And people judge you. Uh, people say that you are um, being too sensitive. People say that um, it's a cry for attention. I had family members who said that about me. Uh, that it's a cry for attention. Are you sure she's not just doing this because she wants attention? A very close family member of mine said that, and I was shocked when I found out. <clears throat> Cat, how do you manage, sis? Nine to five, studying YouTube, Bay Fam friends. To be honest, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I do it. Um, my friends are quite understanding of the fact that I am in a relationship. Um, a serious one. My family, I, <clears throat> my family, I see them when I get a chance. My partner work i feel like it's a whole how do i say this i feel like it's a whole time management thing you have to manage your time you have to know when you're gonna do this when you're gonna do this and i don't compromise i know that over the weekends is typically the time where i want to relax live my life enjoy with my friends and my family so i need to do everything in my power to Get done all the things that I need to have done during the week, for that week. So that come Friday, which is today, I can have a nice time. I actually consider this working because I am working. I'm going to have to come back and edit this and all of that. But I enjoy it nevertheless. I'm having a drink. I'm more relaxed as opposed to on a Friday doing an assignment and whatever. I would rather focus that kind of stuff during the week and have the weekend to enjoy. Um, I speak to my friends. I don't see my friends every two minutes. I speak to my friends when I need to see them. I make time for them. Um, and vice versa, them with me. My partner, I see quite often. My family, I'll always make sure once a week, I'll pop in to see them say hi. And that's sufficient because they do understand that I have my life. I've got school. I've got work. I've got things I need to do. But it all really just boils down to time management. How do you manage your time? And for me, I've pretty much seemed to have got that down to a T, especially when you watch my productivity videos. Then you'll know. Then you'll know. I think I'm done. <laughs> Would you ever assist your partner to pay for your lobola? No. No, I wouldn't. Um... I feel like it would be a betrayal of trust, a betrayal to my family. I'm not trying to buy my husband. To me, I feel like I'm buying my husband. <laughs> I'm paying for him to love me and to choose me and to marry me. 
And I know that financial situations are not the same. But our culture has always dictated that the man will pay for the lobola. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, why am I being part of paying for it? No, I'd rather wait as long as it takes for us to wait. And I will wait. And then when you are ready, you'll pay for my lobola. But no, no, no. Mm -mm. No. And I found that in many situations where women have paid for a large portion of the lobola for themselves, they end up being quite disrespectful to their spouses because they feel, oh, ah, at the end of the day, I paid for myself anyway. And no, no. I'm very, very anti. I, I'm, I'm not, no, I'm not with that at all. Yeah. I guess that's pretty much it. I did eat. <laughs> I know that I didn't really eat that much, but I did. I ate quite a bit, okay. I had two mozzarella sticks. I had three um, uh, cheese bites, okay. I had a bit of the loaded fries and I had a bit of the burger. So I kind of dipped in everywhere and it was enjoyable, but I'm really full now. <laughs> I'm gonna go until the next part of this vlog, clip of this vlog. I'll see you soon. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah Maybe a break, boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah.